Uh, good morning. Um, we've got some guests arriving today. And I just wanted to have an opportunity just to um, show you the surroundings of the, of the property. We've had a few questions come up about parking. So I just wanted to show you the sort of the parking that's available. Um, we've got a nice gentleman next door who ha uh, struggles with mobility. So we always try and leave him a space outside the front of his house. But everything else is, as you can see, is plenty of parking and a nice position here. And then as we go in, it's a key, key operated or code operated front door into the hallway. And then we go through into the lounge. Dining room. And there's the welcome pack and the entry cards. So when you first arrive, you can use the codes provided by Airbnb, and then you can use the card from the cards from then onwards. We just ask that they're left in the property when you leave. So this is the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. There's a fan oven. Uh, there's a dishwasher there as well, and there's a utility room through here as well. Not the tidiest of rooms, but quite functional. So there's a fridge freezer there, uh, a washer, uh, a tumble dryer, and a washing machine, a toaster, microwave, and um, there's the boiler as well. And then down down at the bottom, um, there's the Hoover, the mop, and um, dust pan and brush if it's needed. But we've enjoyed living here for, for many years and we still enjoy coming back and enjoying everything that's on offer in the area. There's plenty of walks, um, very close to the Bracken Beacons and, uh, and Newport and Cardiff. And then outside there's a, a dryer there that can be stood up, small, small sort of patio courtyard area. And then at the top, is the um, is the garden i think there's some photos of that on online already it's a bit wet so i won't go up there today there's also a storage cupboard there as well um, if you need to store any items and then upstairs we've got um, three bedrooms. One of the bedrooms, um, we've got an ensuite in it, so we'll go there first. And there's a family bathroom as well. So this is the largest of the bedrooms. So in here, there's some books and some children's books. If anybody needs a, a, um, a bedtime story, there's a TV on the wall there as well. And there's a range of wardrobes here. And in this further, furthest wardrobe is some further linen if it's needed. And all of these shelves and, and um, wardrobes are empty. With the TV, this is a BT box, uh, exactly the same as we've got downstairs. And you can act, it can all be accessed and, re and used just through the BT remote. So it's really simple. And then um, again, as I say, just give you another pan round. And then through the door here is the ensuite. So it's a thermostatic shower in here. Um, the top control um, just controls how much water you get, and then the bottom is the temperature. We generally just turn on the top one and find it's got a lovely sort of um, comfortable um, temperature for um, <coughs> for having a shower, but. Use it as you wish. And then back onto the landing, we've then also got the sort of family bathroom. Uh, so everything's in here as you'd expect. Um, there is a, a shower over the head, but that's more for cleaning and obviously washing children rather than showering. And uh, one, th one thing I will say is that the, the toilet in here is a macerator, so we do, do ask if um, any guests can make sure that they only flush um, toilet paper down there rather than anything else, because um, we just don't want it to be, to be blocked. Um, we haven't had a too, much, too many problems with it, but um, 
when you wash um, wet wipes or flush wet wipes it does cause a problem and then this is the second bedroom again as you can see we've got plenty of storage and uh, yeah a nice double bed there um, it's gas central heating here so in the winter the heating comes on automatically and um, should keep you nice and warm but again the thermostat is on the landing I'm um, sorry on the stairs as you come up towards the landing and you can adjust the, the temperature there if, it, if it's too cold and then this is the third bedroom again it's a fitted wardrobe or oh, a wardrobe plenty of storage in there two bunks a few teddies if anybody wants to use them and then that's back onto the onto the garden so hopefully this video is, is answered a few questions people have had um, and also giving you a quick sort of tour around the house um, I will say as well on the landing there is a stair gate here so if you have any young, younger children then that's really useful um, just to lock that and again if you've got any animals we ask if they can be left downstairs so again that's a good way of um, ensuring that they stay downstairs um, obviously there is a door as well at the bottom of the hall which can be closed as well and there is a dog flap that can be opened up uh, in the um, kitchen as well so that can be used if, if somebody has a, has a relatively small dog there we are again as I say if there's any questions please um, please just message me alright take care goodbye